right to say this. We have a new vertical leap leader in the clubhouse at 44 inches. Can I say this? I've always loved his athleticism. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Tremendous athlete. He's a tremendous athlete. Okay, he's not just cerebral either. Yep. He's yep. a tremendous athlete. <laughs> Two sport guy. <laughs> right? And he has indicated he wants to be on the basketball court. He would That's, love to be. Yeah. The question is, can he play himself into guaranteed money? Because he's already pocketed 400 grand from the Baltimore yeah. Orioles yeah. because of the 92 mile an hour moving fastball. Wow, good okay. movement on that. A fourth round pick of the Baltimore <laughs> Orioles. You look at where he is right now in terms of the all time vertical leap leaders. 40 four inches tied for second on the list we saw him a little bit earlier <laughs> who said Cut irish guys can't jump yeah huh? this hey, guy like, he this got some guy. got bunnies as the kids hey, like to say you know he's got well how do we say this he's got uh carefully he's got yeah <laughs> kids, let's put it this way he's a tough boston kid who happens to shoot it great right this guy's a really good basketball player i mean when you when you watch their run in the acc tournament he made shots. He rebounded the basketball. He attacked the basket. He defended bigger players. Now, I can't imagine at 6'5", sitting on that mound, fi fi firing, you know, 92-mile-an-hour Ferris balls. But, I mean, let's see what he does here. This kid is a fierce competitor, and he's got a toughness about him. Now, does that make him a good defender because he's running around these cones? I don't know. But I know one thing. We talk about compete. Right. This dude was guarding post players in Carolina, post players, and getting it done. He can come off screens, he can make shots, he rebounds his position, he can attack off the glass. Grant and Covington as a backcourt, they were, and Demetrius Jackson, that was a fun backcourt to watch. A little yeah, bit older I, and plays with a lot of swag, too, I, friend. I've got him 32nd on my board, which is right on the borderline of the first round. And, you know, my favorite matchup of the NCAA tournament was Kentucky Notre Dame, he's oh guarding Willie Cauley Stein. Yeah. Willie Cauley Stein at 7 1 is guarding Pat Connaughton, and it was a fun matchup. Um, well, Pat, you had second highest vertical jump ever. How do you explain that? Uh, I didn't know that, so that's news to me. Uh, I don't know. I guess it's, it's something that I've been working on, something that, you know, uh, comes to the combine, you know, being able to do the, you know, little basketball tough things I was able to do at Notre Dame. I just kind of wanted to prove that, you know, I was more athletic than people thought that I could stay with guys, you know, in the shooting guard uh, type category. How did you work on it? Just jumping. I mean, the one way to get better at jumping is jumping. I've always been, since I was in seventh grade, I wanted to dunk. So all I did, my dad gave me a weight vest and he said, go up beside the backyard, jump on and off a ledge and, and you'll get better at it. So in the last couple of weeks, how have you been working on your jumping? Uh, just box jumps. Uh, there's a video on uh, YouTube of J.J. Watt jumping on like a... What's good, what's good, it's your boy Justin, just fly down to one of the greatest dunkers on the planet. If you want to do dunks and beats, you gotta check out their workshop program. Me and Adam are taking a lot of time and effort, taking all the knowledge and experience we've had and accumulated it into one spot, the workshop program. You gotta check it out. A lot of us weren't lucky growing up with these type of programs to teach us what to do and tell us what not to do, but we did all the work for you. So scroll down, check it out, and tune in. I can almost guarantee that this program will help you be either a better ball player or a better dunker in the near future. Bird shock.